Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Tenge Makyo Zero. Last time we pretty much explored all of the southern peninsula as well as the western portion of Fire Bear Nation, so now it's time to explore the eastern portions. So let's see, from this shrine, just head all the way east, crossing this bridge right over here, and then just head down south, this little uh, peninsula right here, and what do we have? What do we have? Battle! No, we have another hermit! Hey there, hermit guy! What's going on? Are you on drugs? Wow. Uh, maybe you should. Hey, we get the Gush Scroll, which is essentially the water magic of this game. So that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, just like the Singe spell. Yo, I know that. You press up or down. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. So that's all I really wanted down here. And uh, now let's head back up over here, because we need to head over to Life Forest. Because some chicken there should be able to restore my grandfather's sword from the steep condition into a more usable state. Oh, it's also known as Lost Forest. Yikes. Well, let's head on inside. How bad could it possibly be? Hey there. Oh. Are you lost? Yeah, you can get lost pretty easily in here. And here we have, oh, all the new enemies all in one. How convenient. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead, actually, let's show off this fusion spell, this wind spell. Uh, can I use it on all of them? Yes, I can. So, the little brown guys there on the left and the right, they um, are weak to fire, and the green guys in the middle can put you to sleep. So, that's all you really need to know. Ooh, they can drop starlight. Hey, hey, awesome. So, yeah, I just headed to the right, and it's a dead end, so, yeah. But remember that child back in town? He was giving you a clue as far as how to get through this area. So, if you wrote down what he said, just like I told you to, then you would know how to get on through here. So it's really not that hard to get on through here. So we're still on the first screen, and his first directions was left at the spring. So there's that spring. I'm gonna head on left. Then he said to climb the stairs, but I want to talk to this guy first. Oh, well, we're looking forward to. Ooh, and we get an antidote. Nice! Oh, actually, he didn't say to climb the stairs first. He said to follow the path north and then climb the stairs. Oh, so there's some treasure down there. Can I get to it? No! In fact, I don't know how to get to this treasure chest. If you know how to get to this treasure chest, hey, let me know. So we're going to be climbing up these stairs. Then he says to cross over three bridges. Here's bridge one. Uh, nothing down here. Can I get to that chest from here, though? No! So it looks like the next bridge would be over here. Uh, hey, there it is. Bridge two. At the rooms that we've been to before. And here is the third bridge. Nice! He said, do all that before heading into a tree. Oh, look! Battle! Right before I go to where I want to go. Thanks, game. Thanks. Ooh, get a body essence. Nice! You can use that as an item to actually increase your maximum HP, so that's pretty damn good. And we get a starlight to restore your MP. Awesome. And who are you? Oh, are you Hisi? Oh, hey, I thought you were dying. Look fine to me. Oh, sure. Well, what do you want from me? Um, no. Screw you. Oh, well, yeah. Protect the fairy's egg? No! Won't do that either. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is a but thou must situation, so I'm going to have to do it. Oh. Oh. Really? Oh, 
okay. The fairy egg is in Yumdonio, House of Dreams in Ice Mountain Village. Huh. So we need to get to this fairy egg in this village up here. But the village looks frozen over. Except for the people, at least. Well, that's good. At least the people aren't frozen. Unlike my hometown. Oh, well, glad that we can help. Oh, sure. You gonna restore it for me? She was just restoring a sword. This is like a whole lot of stuff going on just to make a sword not rusty, just to kind of polish a sword. Martha Stewart uses just salt and lemons. She's able to polish like anything. But I guess we need magic in a JRPG to do it. Personally, I prefer salt and lemons myself. Just saying. Your life force to polish the sword? But hey, but with that we get the mighty fire bear sword. Sweet! And apparently we can use that to defeat all the enemies over on uh, Ice Mountain. Oh! Rahahahili! But hey, and with that we get more party members with Hisi the Fairy of the Fire Clan joining our party. Let's go ahead and uh, check her out. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. There we are. So yeah, she looks really nice. She's essentially a mage type character. Her special skill, Farewell, allows you to run away from battle. Um, you know, all the time. It never really fails. And as far as her inventory or her scrolls are concerned, she has the same... Well, if you got the Gush spell, she would have the Gush, the gush spell. Otherwise, she would just have the Singe spell the Vigor spell, and the Filter spell. She also has the Wind spell because I got the Wind spell back with uh, Hegon. So yeah, and now that she joined my party, Hegon learned the Vigor and the Filter spells. So that's kind of strange how if somebody joins your party, you kind of gain their magic. I hope it's not that way through the entire game because I really don't like games where everybody's able to do everything. Looking at you, Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, so with that, let's, uh, Head on outside. Well, I've made my way back to the very first screen, and I'm meeting you here because I've actually found out how to get that chest. I didn't previously figure out how to get. So just go on this way, head over here, and yeah, there's the secret passage. Oh, wow! 360 Rio! Whoa! Wow, that's really nice. I need that money to buy that house for that golden hoe. Anyway, now I'm gonna meet you outside. Okay. Well, that should be up to the north, so let's head on up there. Oh, okay, here we have some uh, new enemies. The, uh, let's see, the bald butcher, the guy there on the left, he is, let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't know what he's weak to, actually, now that I think about it. I'm probably weak to fire. Um, but this icicle mouse right here, he is weak to fire as well. I know that for a fact. And he has an all-hitting icicle attack, which can actually be pretty painful, I've got to say. Yeah, this bald butcher, he just kind of stands there and attacks. Uh, let's see, you know what? We got this new gush scroll, so let's go ahead and show that off. Let's hit the down button and we can target all of them. Not that they're weak to water or anything. Whatever it says failed like that, that means that essentially they missed. So that's just a way of saying, you know, the enemy's attack missed, or our attack missed, or whatever, something like that. Okay, perfect. And then just continue on our way. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, so we have to go through a mountain path to get to the village. But I don't want to go there quite yet. Just head over here, just a little bit to the west. And here we have another new enemy, and there's that icicle launch that I was talking about earlier, that multi-targeted water attack. Uh, let's see. This guy is the Hairy Gator, and he is weak to fire, as well as wind. But our wind spell that we have is so expensive right now, and she can't use a fire attack either, so she can just kind of heal or do nothing. And then this skill that she has here is Farewell. Um, it uses 20 tech points to get an automatic run from battle, so that's not going to happen. So I would just go ahead and attack the mouse, since it does have the multi-target attack. And then, yeah, Blazing Cutter, it really is the way to go. I'm going to be using that in the physical attacks for the foreseeable future, I've got to say. Like, unless something's really weak to physical hits, I see no reason to actually use physical attacks. But anyway, going over here, we get the uh, last hermit in the Fire Bear Nation. And he's just as crazy as all of the other hermits. I don't want to see hell. Well, yeah, I'm the hero of fire. I'm the new king. Oh, you're the sight hermit. Huh. Ooh. The scroll of the sight hermit. So what do you have? The sight scroll. Of course. That basically works as the Analyze spell, or the Peep spell in Final Fantasy IV. Um, essentially, what it does is it just gives an enemy's weakness. It doesn't give their HP or MP or special skills or anything else like that, just their weakness. And it can be weak to fire, water, wind, or lightning, or physical elements, apparently, which is basically just physical hits. So yeah, if an enemy's weak to physical hits, then I'll use physical hits on it. Otherwise, that blazing cutter is just so good. Unless, like, an enemy's strong against fire, then I could see, like, not using the blazing cutter. But we're going to an ice mountain. How many enemies are really going to be weak versus, or going to be strong versus fire? I mean, come on. So now let's head on over back to that village. Oh, okay, here we have another new enemy, and this guy's weak to wind. Um, you know what, I'm gonna show it off, why not? So let's see, we'll go ahead and use a fusion of wind and wind. Use 35 tech points, but look at the damage. Eventually. Yeah! Look at that, that's insane! So, yeah, it's very good, very expensive, but very much worth it. Probably use that for boss fights. Oh, okay, here we have another, or two new enemies, actually. Let's see what we got going on here. The Glacial Panther and the Kistrin Beast? I don't know. But let's go ahead and use up our new, um, Sight Spell. It only uses four tech points. So let's show it off, see what we got going on here. Oh, okay, so it's weak to fire, as much as I assumed. Uh-oh, she might need to heal. But I do want to also see what this guy is weak to. Probably fire, I can only guess. Just taking a stab in the dark. Oh, fire and wind. And you missed. Thank you. So, yeah, just keep on going. Same old, same old. It is what it is. Ah. Uh oh. Whoa. It's a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use your curing spell, Vigor. Kind of need that, so that's what that spell looks like right there. Yeah, it doesn't cure a lot of HP, but it's, you know, it's the only curing spell that we have. And it's still early in the game, so I'm not too concerned about it. Pretty cheap, too, which is always nice. Wow. Ah! Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh, man. This guy is just ridiculous. Come on, now. Probably shouldn't have wasted that wind spell on that one guy. Probably should use the wind spell here. Man, probably would have cleared the field. Okay, perfect. Got them down. Ooh, got a lot of uh, Rio for that as well. So let's head on into the uh, mountain village or ice village. The ice mountain climber. Okay. I like the game Ice Climber for the NES. That game was actually a lot of fun. The most fun part of it, though, was um, building like your own stages. It was really ahead of its time. Hey there. Uh, yeah, actually I am. Some snowshoes. 1,000 Rio! Yeah, you have to. Otherwise, you're gonna slide all over the place and there's nothing you can do about it. 
So let's go ahead and uh, equip those real quick. Let's see. Take them on down here. They just equipped as an accessory and, uh, hey, can walk on the ice. How easy is that? Oh, oh no, the entrance is all frozen up. Oh, Makuzon's pots from Fire Shadow Village. Yeah, but uh, Zedai Rado, he, he um, blew up his kiln and now his fire isn't there. But can we help him and make it to the Ice Mountain Village? Find out next time on Let's Play Tenge Macchio Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.